Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlickers, shields, death slicers, peasants, vassals, minions, and worse. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. Today, I want to talk about porn. Global porn. And the reason why is because when I did that last video on uh, all the government corporate workers that are watching porn at work all day, and 78% of all porn is watched between the hours of 9 to 5. So that should tell you something. People are working hard. They're just working hard. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, uh, when I did that video, I looked up a, a bunch of statistics on the porn industry and I'm really surprised by some of the things I came across. So I'm going to do a little video about the global porn industry. It seems to go uh, pretty well uh, hand in hand with all the other lurid topics I talk about like banker scum and the military industrial complex and Pornography just seems to roll off the tongue when you talk about such things. But uh, but anyway, most of these statistics I'm going to uh, use are from a, a, a 2006. And uh, I'll supply the link below and you can and look at uh, more details. But uh, So these these uh, some of these facts are outdated, but it certainly still gives a good glimpse of what's going on in the world of porn. So first of all, we have $97 billion in revenue globally. So... It outpaces uh, most of the other major corporations in uh, global revenue, including Microsoft and Amazon and the like. But, uh, of course, as you would expect, when I uh, looked up uh, what's going on in 2014, it turns out that global porn revenues have declined 50% since 2006 due to free online porn. So we can cut that number in half now. So it's about $50 million in revenue globally, which is still a pretty significant amount. And uh, but uh, what one of the things that was striking right off the bat was who's spending all the money on porn? It turns out the number one place is China, uh, which is particularly interesting because uh, pornography, of course, is banned in China. But 27 billion dollars a year spent uh, by Chinese on porn, 25 billion by South Korea, who are number two, 20 billion by Japan, who are number three, and 13 billion by the U.S., who are number four annually and after that we have Australia, the UK, Italy, Canada, Philippines and Taiwan as the top porn watcher slash spenders in the world. Um, in the US just in that one year 2006 uh, to break it down a little more uh, the US spent 13 billion on uh, porn in 2006 3.6 billion was in video sales and rental 2.8 billion was on internet Two billion on cable, pay-per-view, and phone sex lines. Two billion on strip clubs. One point seven billion on novelties, and still selling at a brisk pace. Ninety-five million dollars on porno mags. And uh, the top porn-producing countries are U the United States, Brazil, the Netherlands, Spain, Japan, Russia, Germany, UK, Canada, and Australia. And uh, so. Well, only a couple of surprises there, Brazil being number uh, two porn producer, and, um, and Spain and Netherlands, third and fourth. Um, but uh, anyway, let's get back to some of the uh, the details. The top porn banning countries in the world are, uh, no surprise there, mostly Muslim countries. And this and this brings up a good point. I mean, why, why would these countries want to embrace... Uh, Western values when along with it comes porn. And that's clear when you see the top porn banning countries are Saudi Arabia, Iran, Syria, Bahrain, Egypt, United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Kenya, India, Cuba, and China. So uh, no porn in the Islamic world. And of course, unless you're uh, one of the elites, I can assure you that the, uh, the Saudi royal family and uh, Assad and the like of, and uh, his cronies in Syria, places like that, have access to all the porn they want, but uh, they just ban it for everybody else. So it sounds like they have uh, uh, Republicans in countries all over the world. And um, U.S. Uh, porn video titles released in 1988, it was a mere 1,300 titles, and by 2005 that had increased to 13,000. 588 porno titles uh, released in a year. <clears throat> and one of the other strange things is that 
corner usage actually goes up along with your wages. And this kind of ties in rather conveniently with the idea that the more money you make, the more you're ensconced in government and uh, lucrative corporate work, the more you're going to watch porn. 35% um, of porn watchers make $75,000 a year or more. And those that make under $15,000 a year, only 6% of them watch porn. So predominantly, uh, people who make $75,000 a year or more are watching porn, 35% of them. And that 35% of porn watchers uh, are in that bracket. <clears throat> and it uh, seems like they're pretty much watching their porn at work. Uh, so in 2006, 4.2 million porno websites in the world, 12% of all total websites, 420 million pornographic web pages, 68 million daily requests for porn, 25% uh, total of all internet requests, uh, 2.5 billion porn emails every day, 8% of all total emails, and uh, 100,000 websites that offer uh, illegal child porn. Uh, 72 million people watch porn every month. 4.9 billion uh, internet porn sales, just the internet. And the largest consumer group of porn is 35 to 49. <clears throat> so, uh, so it was just a, some interesting tidbits. And then one of the other things that I thought was interesting is men who watch porn at work was 20%. Uh, <clears throat> That's one of the figures we've seen thrown around um, that I used in that other video. Somewhere between 20 and 30 percent <clears throat> seems to be the popular notion, although I would put the, the number uh, much higher just because a lot of people lie in these surveys. And uh, interestingly enough, women who admit to watching porn at work is 13 percent. And that was uh, rather surprising. But porno visit sites in general is 72 percent male and 28 percent female. So that seems to be pretty natural ratio and uh, of the top adult searches uh, women outnumber men in looking up chat rooms, cyber sex, sex chat, adult sex, free sex, teen sex, and adult dating. And then men far outnumber women uh, looking up nude, teen porn, triple X videos, anal sex, free porn, and porn. So <clears throat> no surprise there, men want to see a lot of women naked, they want to see them having anal sex, they want to see teens, and uh, well, they want porn, 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 porn. Whereas the women, <clears throat> they want cyber sex in chat rooms and sex chat, and it sounds like they want to do a lot of chit chat, and uh, that's not surprising either. So, uh, <clears throat> in fact, for a lot of women I've known, uh, talking is a form of sex. But uh, anyway, one of the more disturbing as uh, aspects of this study showed that by the age of 18, uh, most uh, uh, boys and girls had seen child porn, bestiality, bondage, group sex, and gay sex. And, uh, I know it was uh, well after college <laughs> that I ever saw any of that stuff, and some of it I've barely seen, uh, so and I'm going to keep it that way. But, uh, and then... Uh, Another surprising statistic was that 17% of women also struggle with sex addiction. So it's not just a, a male phenomenon. But uh, where it gets uh, interesting is women are far more likely to act out the fantasies that they uh, pursue in the Internet. And uh, so men are uh, generally looking for um, some sort of uh, surrogate on, on the web or, or cruising. But women are the ones that are actually connecting on the Internet having casual sex affairs in three ways. So not really a surprising statistic there either. But uh, so that was all 2006, 2007. And we skip ahead to 2014 and uh, uh, couldn't dig up that many statistics other than the fact that now we know that uh, 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 porno revenues have dropped by 50% since that first survey just due to free online porn. And that's changed the, the entire landscape. But what, what else we have in 2014 that's uh, more dominant than uh, 2006 is one in five mobile searches are for porn, and 24% of smartphone users have porn on their phones. And, uh, and that ties in with what I also brought up in the video about these uh, government workers and corporate workers uh, watching porn at work. Uh, the numbers don't really do it justice because they're only looking at uh, 
computers. And the fact is, as this points out, uh, a lot of people are, are wasting time doing non-work stuff on their cell phones at work now too. So uh, we could actually perhaps extrapolate that a lot of these corporate workers and government workers are actually spending uh, more than 40 to 50 percent of their time watching current work, probably more like 60 to 70 percent uh, between, or, or not necessarily watching porn, but paying their bills and looking up viral videos and uh, texting and all the other things that they can do on their phones these days, and everything but what they're doing at work. Uh, nine out of ten uh, uh, porn watchers now access only free porn, and that, that was to be expected. 70% of pay-per-view internet market is porn, and 71% uh, of teens watch porn and hide it from their parents. No shocker there. Um, but I think it must be very, very interesting for uh, the, the environment now with uh, teens and young people, uh, because uh, certainly when I was their age back in the uh, 60s, um, there wasn't a lot of this kind of stuff around, and it certainly wasn't easy to access. You're lucky to get a National Geographic, but uh, so anyway, I, the impact on culture is pretty evident. I think looking around, a very sexualized culture where uh, porn elements and porn style, porn attitude, uh, is uh, permeated the norms, and uh, that's just how it is now. And then, last but not least, uh, let's finish up with the fact that 67% of men approve of porn, and actually 49% of women approve. Of porn, so that definitely shows that a lot of it's gone into the mainstream. <clears throat> and then uh, the last little tidbit I'll throw out there is red meat for some of my uh, conservative friends. Liberals are 20 cent, 20 percent more likely to watch porn. And, uh, well, that's what makes them liberals, I guess, isn't it? So there we have it: uh, fear of a whack planet, global porn. Uh, just a little glimpse. I thought I'd throw that out there as a little follow-up to uh, my previous video about uh, government workers killing their boredom with porn. Porn can be pretty boring too, you know. I'm a useful idiot, don't you be one too. <laughs>